What's up guys, you got Pokey Game here. Today we got an OU Showdown Live, just a regular OU Showdown Live, no road to rank, no any of that. Uh, we're just chilling on the OU ladder with this Mega Heracross team. Kind of felt the, you know, the urge to play a little bit of OU on the side. I do actually, I ladder up uh, quite a bit uh, occasionally. Um, not just, you know, for road to rank one, but I, I do play on the side a lot. Uh, so I figured might as well record this team I want to try out. So it has a really colorful Greninja right here with Psychium Z. Uh, extra sensory, hidden power of fire, hydro pump, and gunk shot. And then it has Mega Heracross, uh, Tank Chomp, AV Magirna, Scarf Lando, <laughs> Double Status, Rotom. So looking at this squad, I gotta be very careful because I kinda just lose to Victini. I do kinda just lose to Victini. Let me look at my uh, team real quick. Assuming it's cel a Celebrate set. Huh. Do I put myself in position to not lose to that? My Greninja goes in, it's like it, it destroys everything, oh my god it goes in, oh my god it goes in, I'm gonna lead off with it and just mess something up, woo, uh, assuming he leads off with Victini, hmm. I'm gonna say assuming he leads off with Victini, what I would have done there was a switch, but I don't, I don't want to show that I have Gunk Shot yet, I also think he'll double fearing the Gunk Shot, so I'm gonna go Garchomp here, uh, while Garchomp HP is, is important, I'm surprised he just clicked Nature's Madness and didn't even care about the the gunk shot but let's say what Garchomp's HP was important uh, for potentially Victini I think that I can deal with scissor I feel like my Greninja is gonna nab every single kill in this game that's just one and uh, two yeah he just really doesn't deal with that Pokemon man at all he really doesn't so I think this is a fire a fine opportunity to just go hair across and click rock blast it's unresisted by his team Besides uh, Garchomp and Keldeo, and Keldeo doesn't really matter because again, Gren. So we're gonna make it on Rock Blast. I feel like he's the type of dude that will go out into to Zapdos as well, just because of the play he made before, right? Scizor doesn't take this well prior to Mega Evolving. Yeah, that's doing some. Even with Grass and Terrain, that is some. That is some beautiful damage. Hold up, that is some lovely damage. I don't think 515 base power close combat knocking him out though, but I'm gonna click it anyway because I don't care. What's he gonna do? Roost? That's it. Yeah, okay, so I get rid of Scizor. Great. So a giant threat, a potential giant threat is just gone. Uh, Victini more than likely gonna come out now. I guess Zapdos could come out if it wants to defog. Or Garchomp if it's Z Draco. Or Contempt to Crush. Magirna is the most expendable member on my on my team. As he goes for SD. Uh, again, this is easily the most expendable member on the squad. Uh, he it didn't deal with much and I can always use my Lanterns to revenge But at the same time because he went for SD, maybe I can play around with it a little bit Because I, I do want to mess him up with uh, Gren hmm. I'm gonna go Lando. Let's see if he does. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna mess around even though that's really expendable I think he'll do Earthquake there especially because I went hard into it. Yep And what I can do now is just U-turn. That's the damage I need for Gren Let's go Mag again Let's see if he constantly crushes or rocks. Just stealth rocks there. I'm gonna make the same play again. Because I need to put him in range of Greninja as well. Yeah, I need to put him in range of Greninja. So I, I, I still managed to keep my mag uh, around, but only to sack it to this. That's literally it, to sack it to this. I feel like Heracross is useful because it deals with the, uh, the Zapdos there. Um, and I do want him knocking me out. Which is why I went for Iron Head over Fleur Cannon, because I guarantee go down in case I live this attack. Because then what I'd be able to do is go out into my Greninja. I'm clicking Hydro Pump here because I want to try and catch that Keldeo off guard. Well, I have no reason to not throw off a Shattered Psyche. I have absolutely no reason to not throw off a Shattered Psyche. Um, but yeah. Uh, the reason I went for Iron Head over uh, Fleur Cannon is because Victini could have potentially set up on me. So we're able to get rid of that. I switched versus Bulu earlier, but now I'm not even sure because he, he goes hard Victini. Is this Scarf? This is... I'm assuming it was Z Garchomp. Is this Scarf? I think I can win the game if, even if this is Scarf, so I'm going for Hydro Pump here. Yeah, I, okay, good. It's Scarf. That's fine. Um, I can win the game if it's Scarf because I have Lando, because I have uh, Rotom and stuff around. So we're fine. I, I missed that, unfortunately, but that shouldn't matter too much because I can just go for an extra sensory to follow it up. Um, knowing that it's Scarf Victini means that it shouldn't be able to beat my, uh, my Rotom, etc. Uh, and I can still afford to go out into Rotom on this because I'll take a V-Create. 
which I thought he'd be more tempted to do. Anyway, Rock Blast picks up a KO now. Bulu comes out. I can just sack Gren. Uh, he might double, I guess, into Victini. He might go for Nature's Madness too, anticipating me to go Heracross. This is why this is why I made the Greninja play, because that can never knock me out. Let's play Gunk Shot, man. Nice. So we get rid of Bulu. Fantastic. Uh, Heracross, like I said, literally picks up a KO. And if he V creates with his Victini, uh, it goes down to... Uh, it's not over yet, my man. Probably gonna try and defog on me. So I went for extra sensory because I can try and flinch him. As he Volt Switches, I'll take that too. Like I said, it's definitely not over yet. I don't think I need... Even if he Volt, even if he close for V-Create, I always have Intimidate on Lando. So I Volt Switch here, uh, just in case he U-turns. Uh, as he V-Creates, uh, he does crit me, but the minus one should mean that I knock him out. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming that's Electrium Z Zapdos now that I haven't seen a Z move on anything, but I'm still thinking it's Garchomp potentially. Uh, but even if I miss this, he needs to get really lucky versus my Heracross to knock it out. So uh, I'd be okay with risking the Stone Edge here. Basically, he has to crit burn Heracross and on Roosting, and, and I have to dodge Rock Blast. So uh, we'll take that. We'll take that win. Um, but yeah, I was happy. I, I knew the colorful Greninja would do it, but I switched turn one because it wasn't worth you know risking at least right there. Right now here, uh, Gren is still exceptional in this, uh, but I'm a little bit more worried about Coco. I think I'm gonna go use my Greninja to hopefully lure as much as possible. Looks like he is um, not scarfed. Uh, I stand by going for U-turn here. Hmm. I guess this is fine. Uh, unfortunately, Clefable is faster than me, but I have 242. I have some attack investment, which I'm thinking is for Clef. I'm actually not even sure. Maybe Lele. I can Volt. I, I, I'm gonna Volt Switcher. Whatever. I'm gonna Thunder Wave you. <laughs> I'm gonna th I should have Thunder Wave this initially, but I wanted to have a, a, a switch in as well. Just Volt Switch. This is good for still water resist. I have this in range of gunk shot, but again, I was really, I was worried about the, uh, I was worried about the T-wave and what not. I don't want to miss and him have him T-wave me. He's going to spike, I don't have, D I do have defog, okay, cool. Very good scout on my opponent's part. Uh, I'm assuming he actually predicted the Heracross to come out there. Um, is it not spikes though? I think spikes were free. I feel like spikes were really free. Hmm. Max still deals with uh, Lottie, he'll still live in Earthquake, he'll live a hit from Keldeo. Uh, Rotom is expendable, but if he does opt to go for something that's not Sludge Wave or Ice Beam, I'm good. Goes for Sub. Does Sludge Wave kill me at 62%? It does. Alright, this is where it gets a little bit scary because I don't deal with this very well. He definitely has Ice Beam and Earth Power. I guess Hera's not doing much. I don't want to go for close combat though. I know 5% chances misses, but I want to break it sub. I was thinking maybe Heracross could take two. Because what I'm planning on doing is messing him up with Greninja plus Scarf Lando. My gosh, that does so much. Alright, so I can get in my Gren here. Probably doesn't want to give me Battle Bond. I'm going to go for HP Fire as he goes Feral Thorn. Yep. Nice. I want to Shattered Psyche so badly because I feel like you double right now into into Keldeo because it's a free water move. Or he goes Needle King. That sucks because uh, I could have knocked out Needle King there. Um, but basically Keldeo had a free attack that turn if I was locked into HP Fire so I thought that was uh, it was worth it. But we have Feral Thorn in range of Earthquake. He's going to bring out Coco. HP Ice is so free too. But he doesn't, I, I can't afford to let Chomp take the hit as it's my main pivot. This doesn't matter. Yeah, that, that, that didn't matter. He lost, he lost a turn by doing that. 
I'm assuming you are going to uh, to Gigable Havoc me as well. Yep. There's no way you give this to me for free. Rocks up. Don't need much. The Lottie's still a problem. Unless he gives it to me here. I guess Scarf Caldeo technically beats me too. I don't think I can, I can, I don't think I can stop that. I want to throw a cannon there. Or attempt to. Because I, I think Gunkshot knocks out Lottie. What's happening here? Mag? <sighs> He's going to HPI this, but... Hey, Wild Charges. Okay, cool. Uh, rocks don't do much for me. I can't, I can't bring myself to set them up. Is he going to double? What, what, like, what's happening here? What is actually happening here? I'm trying to figure out. Because I know that I can beat this with Mag. But Mag is so pressured in this game, too. And Lando is, is just good in the late game as well. Is it worth toxicing? Maybe rocks are worth it, thinking about it. Because I won't be able to knock out Keldeo with extra sensory, I'm sure. Any rockers, any mega balls, and what? Roost, earthquakes, ice beams. Okay, cool. So right here, I'm gonna bluff the uh, the ice beam because I think Mega Lottie is still useful because it's his earthquake immunity. I'm gonna bluff that ice beam and go for extra sensory. This is literally his earthquake immunity. Yep. Uh, this should be. This is not Z. This is Scarf. I don't have a. I don't have a choice. Yeah, this is gonna be a problem. Can I still win this? Potentially. Actually, I. I there's. There's some potential right here. Cause I get a U-turn off here, so I may just earthquake on the. No, there's no point in earthquake. U-turn is always my plan. Yeah. Cause I can still win this. I can still win this. It's gonna be close, but I can win it. I have to get every play right. And this is one of them. But he just U-turns out on the Caldeo too. Like, he doesn't... I still Earthquake here. Because he's paralyzed, so... And I live a Moonblast. The thing is, Secret Sword might be able to knock me out. But I think... I think I can still win. I take Scalds, for sure. I take a Scald, and I, I, I make sure, and Secret Sword I don't think kills Lander, so I click Flurken here, and it picks up a KO. Come on. There we go. He gave me Electric Terrain as well, so I can just Volt Switch. I don't think Secret Sword knocks out Lando. At 20, maybe it does. Damn. Good game, dude. Alright, so I messed up by going for my, uh... I revealed my Greninja set, which is pretty big. Um, but also letting Nidoking come in. Maybe Rock... What, what was it? Well, I don't even know what the Secret Sword role is on, on, on Lando. I'm actually curious about that. Landorush. Choice Scarf. That's not my set. I don't have that defense. Uh, 21 and 26. Oh, that's, that's with this too. No, no, that was never a roll. Okay, 23 mid. Okay, cool. Uh, trick room, trick room, trick room. My mag is useful in this. Heracross is fantastic. Yo, Heracross is... <laughs> yo, what, what does he do? What do you do, my friend? I'm going to click every single one of my stab attacks and kill something. Yo, forget a game plan in this. Heracross just does it. Yeah, I really just want to unwind and just play. Um, yeah, but... Yeah, yeah, Heracross... <laughs> <laughs> it's almost unfair. Uh, it's actually in my best interest right here to not let it take the Flare Cannon that he can go for. I'm surprised you trick him first. You, uh, Lightning Rod? I don't think so. Yeah, I was about to say. I, I know Lightning Rod is obviously a thing, but uh, on, with Flare Blitz being too much for recall, no. So I'm Defensive Chomp, so I think I take two hits. Yep. No defense drop either. I did. I did want rocks to basically ensure that he does not switch into anything. Oof! Let me go ahead and knock this thing out too. Beautiful. So now close combat is free. 
Crest ain't a problem. I'm going to save this thing too for... Uh, well, if he goes Maul, I'm not going to save it because he'll take the rough skin. I'll say I'm going to save it for Crawdon, but I don't really mind this. I think he dies. <laughs> I let you, Oh, he dies now. Bro, I don't think that crit mattered at all, dude. You died to rough skin plus Rocky Helmet plus Life Orb if you had it. There you go. And I still messed him up with what I got. I'll bring out Heracross, but yeah, that's like, like when you see a game like that, that's how you know, yeah, Heracross. Heracross is all I need. Ooh, Chansey. Man, Buzzle is a. Like, Heracross is cool, older brother. I feel. I feel. I, I don't know. I like. They, they look so great together. Um. Chansey, I feel like I'm not doing much with this. I do like Garchomp for dealing with Bisharp. Mag for Zam. Posing Lando is so annoying and so is Chance. Nah, it's not at, at this. The main thing that's annoying is the fact that he has a, a buzzle. Besides that, Heracross just goes in. Uh, as far as leads go, I, I need to go Lando because I everything else puts me at too much of a disadvantage versus Coco. But I think getting in Heracross as many times as possible, including Rock Blast, will be a game plan here. Using Garchomp to maybe check Bisharp, that way I don't let Heracross take any unnecessary damage. Also, in turn, checking uh, Buzzle and weaken it. Because once Buzzle is gone, Earthquake is also relatively free too if I get rid of uh, Lando. So that's what we're going for. I'm hungry. Alright, his Intimidate goes first. Which means he's more than likely Scarf. He could HP Ice here. Uh, I don't see a switch into Brodom besides Chansey. Yep. So nice, so I get a free Volt switch here. As he's more than likely gonna go Chansey. And I'm gonna start clicking buttons with my hair across. I think CC is fine at first. I wanna gauge his skill level. I don't want him to be a Thunder Waver. Um, obviously he has multiple resists. But one, Scarf Lando is not a hair across switching ever. So once it takes a CC, it can't come in on, uh, you know, a second CC plus Rock Blast. I think that close combat is just fair. Especially because it opens up Greninja a lot. Coco, cool. How much is it gonna do? Like 50? Oh my gosh, dude, 60%. <laughs> that damage is insane. Rotom pivots into Lando. I know it sucks. I wanna say that Gren is actually the most expendable member. Yeah, it is, because it gives it gives Alakazam Protean, which makes it tough. I that was not worth risking my Lando, which can earthquake, and my Garchomp, which is important. So here I can actually go Garchomp because I can get up rocks versus at least chance. And I do value rocks at this point in the game, um, especially because he's going to be U-turning around a lot. I think he'd U-turn here, especially because I have a Rotom. So I'm going to go for Toxic. Uh, and that chip is going to be so useful. You'll see, like, I, I click Rock Blast are good. He might even go Buzzle, which I'd be fantastic with. Um, getting off a Toxic on Buzzle, yep. All right, yeah, the Lando endgame with Earthquake is looking that much more possible, especially because that landed. That Landoid. Alright, this is where Gren goes down. I could Fire Blast, but it's not worth. Yep. I was actually half expecting to live that, but then again, it is Buzzle. Hmm. Alright, Heracross picks Rock Blast now. Picks up a KO. This might be all out pummeling. I don't know if that'll knock me. Yeah, I'll be real. But yeah, Rock Blast should pick up a KO here. Um, if Lando lives, it'll be like on 2%. Like something small like that. Something to the point where it can't come in and rocks. And Top of Coco goes down. So, provided I land. As we do. Nice. The Coco's gone. Beautiful. Uh, again, close combat still exceptionally free. Uh, Alex Zam's gonna come out. Mag is literally here for you. I don't mind even if he focus blasts. If he calm mines, I have Scarf Lando, which just clicks U-turn now, and he has no real way to punish that. And by that, I mean that his own Lando taking rocks and whatnot is just so good for me, too. That was cool, but it's the same thing. Like, I always... Now I'm... He's, he's stuck in the Vortex now. I U-turn Volt Switch on everything. That's it. He's stuck in the vo Vortex. The Vortex. Garchomp will always check this sharp. I give me my KO Rock Blast. I do gotta be careful. Oh, come on. That's actually 
very big. Um, because now I have to be a little bit more careful versus the Chansey. Yeah, that was big. It's alright though. Just Chansey slash Lando become a little bit annoying now. Bisharp not so much because I have uh, Garchomp. I guess late mo late game Chansey I can always Toxic. I just, got, like, I, I just didn't want to miss there because as you can see I'm going for an Earthquake sweep. Bisharp comes out. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna keep this thing alive for Chansey and just go out into my uh, go out into my Garchomp. I think I even take uh, an SD plus two Sucker Punch. Wow, what a play, dude! Good play. Very good play. Don't know what type of Bisharp this is, but I'm going for Toxic here on Lando. <laughs> Do not know what type of Bisharp this is. That was sick. Anyway. Get a nice, beautiful Toxic off on the Lando. Uh, HP Ice or whatever play he makes, Rotom is, is my play. Unfortunately, because of me missing the initial, initial Rock Blast, I'm in a situation where coming in on Chansey becomes that much tougher. All right, he just forfeits. I don't think he saw his end game, dude. All you had to do was, like you, you could still have won this game. My hair cross was at like one switch and left. So I think that was a very uh, early forfeit for no reason. I think the game was, it was, I, I did not have a clear advantage at all, dude. Um, ooh, okay. So I'm playing Let's Go OU right now. Unfortunately, he has Rapid Spin. <laughs> That's cheating. <laughs> you can't have this many Pokemon weak to it. And then he throws on a Chansey too, which makes... <laughs> hmm. Gwen... I mean, Voltage is going to be fantastic. Scarf Lando is going to be great. Uh, and Rotom for just dealing with both Gyarados and Cloyster. I'm assuming that's Z Gyarados. I don't know what type of Gar uh, Dragonite that is. I do want Rocks, but Rocks are going to be hard in this game, man. With a Cloyster and... Not hard if I lead off with them. It actually doesn't match up poorly versus anything either. Because if it's Zard Y, it takes a hit. If it's Zard X, I take the hit too. So yeah, Rocks are important here. He's off a of chancy. See, if this was a Let's Go Wi-Fi battle, I would have let off with Starmie to stop my rocks. But that's just me. Anyway, we get a Brox here. Fantastic. I want to see how he messes around with this, so I'm going to go for Toxic. Hello, friend. And now we're bringing out Big Hair across. I'm going to click Rock Blast and kill something. <laughs> I don't care if this gets size and toss. Starmie is Leftovers. You can't kill me with anything. You cannot kill me with anything. Bro, I don't even know if that helps you. I'll be real. I'm going to be real because I'm pretty sure I'm still going to blow you away with this uh, this Rock Blast. Look how much that did. This Rock Blast is about to blow you away, dude. You could have gotten off Scald damage and potentially burnt me. Maybe it still lives. Wow. What are these nine rolls? I don't like that. It's okay. I only need Magirna here to Volt Switch around. That's basically it. Flectite Storm is annoying. I could Flare Cannon on you, so you should switch. And I guess Chansey. I guess Chansey's your only pivot, huh? So what I can do is spam rocks versus... Okay, dude. You're weak to Earthquake. <laughs> what if his only move is Ice Beam? What I want to make it is so he doesn't... Okay, he's, he's literally max defense. So I outspeed him. And I knock him out with Earthquake now. <laughs> That's good to know. He's not outspeeding uh, 279. So I guess, what is he just... Isn't that like... Does Min Speed Starmie even hit this low? I feel like Starmie is just faster. Well, I got my rocks up. I don't think that crit mattered. Because he became a gear out there. I get my rocks up for Charizard, for Dragonite, for Gyarados, for, for Cloyster. Lovely, lovely, lovely. We take those. Yeah, but Scarf Lando is going to be really important. Checking Charizard, checking Gyarados. Not Toxic here is the best I can do. Don't really want to switch because I want to save my Intimidate for later. As he has a Lumberry. Lando. I think this is the range of Lando Stone Edge. I could be wrong though. Huh. Yeah, I mean, it's not like I... I'm pretty sure that was the range, yeah. Pretty sure after the rocks, it's a KO. Alright, so we get rid of that. Chansey comes out. As it probably should. 
Mag can still deal with you. Gren doesn't really have a purpose. I guess it denies this, which is cool. I'm gonna click my Z move because it KOs everything. No matter what Zar that was, it should KO because this becomes Stab, Shattered Psyche. I didn't want to risk Hydro Pump. I'm missing on a Zard X. So we get rid of that. We know it's a regular Gyarados as well and a regular Cloyster. Pretty sure you're going to die to this HP Fire in the sun, my friend. <laughs> Gyarados is going to come out. All I got to do is Extra Sensory you. I got Rotom in the back too and I just Voltage out into... Uh... I'm sorry, this don't win. Wait, did it have Moxie? It did. It's still not... I got a crit. I'm sorry, dude, but you were not beating fully Fizz Def Rotom. Especially because I had Lando to Intimidate Sponge. But I did, get, I did get lucky there. I'm not going to lie. I did get lucky there. You're not going to deny that. There's no denying the luck that took place in that part. He had... Yo, how slow is Starmie with no... I'm actually really curious. Oh, it's 266 speed with zero speed investment. Like, I used to use Wolf Me back in DVP. It's a tough game, man. Sash lead drill. Like a Metacham, Battle Bond, Z. Or this could be Z. This could be Rocky Helmet. And this could be Scarf as well. So, oh, this is a tough one. This is very tough. I think we go Lando into Garchomp because that's I don't really deal with Medicham, Medicham, <laughs> Medicham. Well, this is a tough one. Uh, I don't. I gotta be super careful about losing to Victini, which I don't have really very many ways to prevent that. Huh? Uh, like I guess in theory Garchomp can do it, but I'm, I'm gonna click Rocks here. I do value Rocks for um, for dealing with uh, for dealing with Victini. I don't think Fire Blast will put him in range and it'll let me spin. Maybe Fire Blast will kill though. Yeah, nice. So I get my rocks up, which is fantastic. He can't spin because of rough skin. I just stay in here and click Toxic. Yeah, I don't mind going down. Mmm. HP Fire and maybe try and get in the... Oh god, not the Gren. <laughs> I'll say HP Fire and maybe try and get in the... Uh, maybe try and cast the Victini. I actually might have messed up. The Heracross? Yeah, I might have just messed up actually. I need that chip for Metacham. But I do need... Ro I, need I need Rocks too for Victini. So it, it's like hard here. So if I win a Speed Tie and I get a Hydro Pump off, I won't lose to him clicking Hydro Pump himself. As he does double out to Hero. I would literally lose. I would literally lose the game if he. Uh, I'm gonna keep HP firing. I would literally lose the game if he if <laughs> if I if I KO him right there on his rapid spin. I'm trying to bluff the scar. All right, please KO him. This is why I bluff. This is literally the reason why I bluffed the scar. All right, so we don't lose the big teeny. This is why I bluffed that I was scarf HP fire. So I'm glad that worked out. We don't lose the big teeny. I get a mag and flare cannon is so free. It is actually free. As he throws away what I think was the biggest threat to my team. Legitimately speaking. Uh, then again, I don't have rocks in this game, but Rotom wins. He smart strike crits me. <laughs> Okay, dude. You were choice, Victini, though. So I get a Volt Switch off, but I can't believe he Smart Strike crit me. He's gonna Mega Evolve and Fake out here. I can Stone Edge and try and catch Torn, and that doesn't. That really denies everything. I think I'm gonna make that play. Actually, no, that's no point. Rocky Helmet, which I don't think, which I think means it lives this hit. Ideally, I'm, I'm wrong. Damn, and he can just U-turn here. Pick me off. 
with Metacham or buy this. You know, Water Shuriken. Well, I tried to win Speed Tie there and that did not work out for me. This game a whap. Can't U turn. A Stone Edge, he's gonna sack Cart. Bring back in his Gren. Or even Metacham and mess me up. I could dodge a high jump kick, that's about it, I think. I legitimately have to go for dodging high jump kick, so I'm gonna go for it. Because if I earthquake here, he'll go torn. He'll go torn. Well, now you can go back out of Medicham if he wants to, or you can sack this. Now I play this one way too. Uh... I think that I'm fairly confident the crit on my Heracross matter because that was definitely a scarf. Why'd you make this play? Why not just go hard Metacham? Why would you not go hard Metacham ever? I think I just go off his... Okay, he really did choke there. I went Thunder Wave here on the Metacham. Why? That was a throw, wasn't it? That was like... Uh, he really threw away his endgame and I didn't take advantage of it because if I went Rotom, I just clicked Thunder Wave. I had your pump though. Well, now Fake Out probably KOs me. I think I had to pump because I don't think uh, Volt Switch knocked out Metacham. Good game, dude. Good game. I really think his endgame was played very, very poorly. I'm gonna get one more. One more. I was gonna end it there, but yeah. He, he threw away his endgame. Why do you water shirk in it? He literally went, he literally went out into uh, Metacham, clicked Fake Out. What is this? He literally went Metacham, clicked Fake Out, and uh, it knocked out either Lando or I would go Rotom, and he could just click Zen Headbutt or High Jump Kick after and pick up a KO and then win the game with Water Shuriken at the end. That was the uh, better one, but I'll pause it, guys. Run quick. I'm getting a call. Sorry about that. Okay, so uh, let's see this. I mean, I, I get in. <laughs> Heracross loves this guy. Uh, I get in Heracross as often as possible and just try and pressure him with that. Uh, Rotom is annoying as a lead, but fantastic. It's, his Rotom is annoying, and so is mine versus him. I'm actually thinking about leading off with just a Willow as his. Because um, if I lead off with Garchomp, Pete Willow is me, and I don't want that to happen. Uh, he leads Lando. Still fine. I can... I can just Wisp. I'm assuming it's Scarf Lando plus Rocks Tran. I think Rocks he ran is a terrible play to make versus this thing. Like, to go hard into that. Yeah, you'd, I'd, I'd always go Rotom myself. I have speed, which is a little bit annoying. Alright, so, I threw off a Hydro Pump as opposed to Volt Switching there. <laughs> Not to catch the landers upon switching, but nice, 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 nice. I missed the Lando. I wasn't trying to catch it uh, because I was faster. I thought I would be faster than his Rotom. I thought that would be better for me. But had I caught that, I obviously just clicked Earthquake versus his team too, regardless of his blue. So, I can't believe that dude made that play when he has half these Pokemon to go out into. Anyway. I get in a Pharaoh position now because Rotom uh, comes out. Hmm. You're gonna mess him up, aren't you, Greninja? This is probably a Z too because this is uh, this is Scarf Lando. I want to say that my Psychium Z will knock him out, but even if it doesn't, I want to say this is still the play because uh, weakening one of his Earthquake switchings is fantastic for me. So I'm gonna throw up a Shattered Psyche as he goes Bulu. Now I'm gonna click Gunk Shot. And the Bulu is gone. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Now he goes Landers. I don't know if this knocks me out even... I want to say it does. Let's be a little bit. Let's, let's... The best place to actually go Garchomp because we tank that because of Grassy Terrain. And if he goes for U-Turn, like he gets punished for it. So, yeah. Lovely. Alright, so this Leaf Blade is about to mess me up, but I'm still pretty confident I'm a tank. I'll take a Leaf Blade, but not a Z Leaf Blade. Which is more likely what he's going to go for. Mag isn't very useful. Rotom can still stop Landers from clicking Earthquake and can still Thunder Wave stuff. So I'm going to go Mag, as he's probably going to Bloom Doom here. Oh, Volt Switch then. Getting my Garchomp on that last turn. 
I do value rocks here. I don't. I think that's such a terrible play, because my well, my Greninja's gonna mess him up. But that's fine. I always have my Mag as a switching, and his own Lando isn't a problem either to me. Um, I just don't know how I felt about that. So because the Cartana has actually shown no item, and the Heron also shown no item, I, I don't, is it double scarf? I feel like it is, man. Mag is again the most expendable one. Heracross is gonna come out and, and mess something up, so that I don't mind much. This Volt Switch. This Pokemon isn't important to me. <laughs> so I'm willing to sack it there. Get out my Gren. It just gives me an extra sack, which is unfortunate for my opponent. And I can just click Hydro Pump here. How'd this guy Traversal get in here? I thought I mod chatted. Go ahead and give me your heat ran. All right, awesome. Cart probably gonna come out now. If this is Bloom Doom, then I check this later. Mag still expendable. Rotom can still Willow is this. Yep, Mag is still expendable. I guess it's HP Fire here too. Because what is this HP Fire switching? You go Lando, you take some chip. You go Rotom, you don't kill me with anything. I'm popping your eye, I pop a berry. Uh, go ahead and give me this Cartana, my friend. This is why I thought that Heat Ram play was like poor, because like the plays like this just catch up to you. I don't know. Doesn't matter what play he makes at this point. You can go for U-turn. That Landers cannot beat my team. I don't have my Z for this anymore. I'm just gonna pop its berry. Oh, it's a weakie, not I pop it. I don't think there's any way I lose a Scarf Lando or uh, really much, so I don't mind him going for a double Hydro Pump here. As he goes for well, um, as he goes for a Volt Switch, which is a little bit, I think, I guess better, you could say. But now I'm going to click Close Combat and pick up a KO. You can show me your CC switchings. I'm completely fine with that too. Like I'm more than fine with that turn. Yeah, honestly speaking, that's great. I just go Lando and U-turn out versus Rotom and sack Greninja and do that. It's just basically a rinse repeat, right? Because I get the U-turn, I get the burn. I already popped this berry. Gren isn't useful, but Gren can also HP fire a Mawal. My Garchomp is plus two Sucker Punch. At this point, it's just positioning to make sure he doesn't beat me. But I, I don't think I can lose at this point either. Yep. Sack this. The Hydro Pumps, whatever. Extra Sentry, go ahead and knock out Rotom. He's gonna bring out Mawile, that doesn't even matter. I just HP fires, he's forced to SD. If he has it, or he goes for Sucker Punch. Then I'll bring out Garchomp and I win the game anyway. The game, Jason. Look at Mawile tanking that. I was about to say, look at Garchomp tanking that too, but it did not. Anyway, uh, definitely the miss on Magma Storm mattered, but I can't believe he stayed in with Heatran, which was so, it was, it was useful versus me in a sense that it stops my Magirna from having its way with him. Like, look what happened when Hero was gone. Mag just ate a hit from Cart. Was it Scarf Cart the whole time? Was it double Scarf? I have no idea. Anyway, hope you guys all enjoyed. A uh, little weird laddering session, but like I said, I wanted to have a little bit more of a chill one as well. Um, if you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends.